everyone, it's Mithril and welcome back to my journey of learning to draw. So usually on some months, I will make a monthly art challenge for the Discord. And usually it's about whatever I'm feeling like drawing at the time and I'll say, hey, let's all design an OC and then we'll design an OC and it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so this month I wanted to extend a hand to everyone on YouTube who is not yet on the Discord server, especially since a lot of us are choosing to stay at home or being told to stay at home. I thought it would be fun to encourage some more community art-ing, especially since I feel like it can be lonely sometimes doing art, just practicing for hours on your own, and having other people join in on that learning and in that pursuit is a lot of fun. So this month is going to be about heads because it is something I've definitely been neglecting. It is very much a weak point for me and I know it is for a lot of people because it's just it just seems very complicated and I've found it hard to get myself to get into it. So I'm going to force myself by making this monthly art challenge, setting goals and homework that I think are good for myself. You know, I'm not a teacher, I'm not very good at this, but I think these are reasonable goalposts and I'm inviting my community to do it along with me because it's fun to learn and it's fun to learn with other people. So I quickly drafted up a syllabus for what we will be doing next month and I also made a little Pinterest board full of references that we could use. I think it's a lot of fun when people draw from the same references. Uh, I definitely noticed this during February when I could see people's art and just be like, oh my god, like I remember drawing that same picture and here's how I interpreted that arm but you interpreted it this way and like it's just so cool being able to see that. And so I wanted to capture some of that magic with my own monthly art challenge. So I made a little Pinterest board with some pictures that I found. Uh, I was trying to make these simpler pictures to draw. For example, like none of the heads are cut off. They're all sort of like not too extreme angles. I'm just getting into it. You know, once I get the basics down, I think it's okay to explore and push myself a little bit more. But, you know, while I'm still learning, I should stick to the basics. And as you see, I put like a picture of myself on here that I took a few minutes ago because, hey, why not? I thought it would be fun to customize it a little bit <laughs> and put myself on here. And I just love doing self portraits. And if anyone thinks this is a good, helpful picture to draw, then we can all draw it and that would be fun. So to give an overview of what I'm trying to do, in week one, we are going to draw. We are going to look at these pretty pictures, choose some interesting ones, and draw them to the best of our abilities. We're also going to try to draw from imagination to the best of our abilities. I don't think the best thing to do at the very beginning is to jump straight into the instructional materials because, to be honest, it's overwhelming. And plus, I really love the idea of progress and not letting anything be lost. And if I, you know, threw away myself right now, then I would never know how much I improved if I don't capture my skill level now. So I think it's a good idea to pick some pictures to draw now and then draw those same pictures later and see how much I've improved. If I just go straight into the tutorials and the instruction, then I lose that and I don't get to see as much improvement. <laughs> and plus, it is scientifically proven that you learn things better and retain it more in your mind. When you think about a question, you give the wrong answer and then you're corrected, as opposed to just learning that fact. So what I want us to do is just do like 10 quick constructions from these images, 10 quick constructions from imagination, and three detailed portraits from these pictures. So then you can draw them again and you can compare and it would be so much fun. <laughs> and if some of the images that you choose overlap with other people's, then you can see how different people interpret the same picture, which I think is so much fun. So now I'm realizing that like the first three pictures here are very similar. So I am going to rearrange them so that the first three pictures will be like the default three pictures that if you don't really care what you're drawing, then draw these three for the first week. So then everyone's drawing the same pictures if you want to be the same as everyone else and it would be fun. So I'm just gonna do some examples to show you what I mean.
All right, so here is one of my quick constructions from Imagination. Uh, this is a Loomis Method-esque. I don't really remember all the exact measurements, but I tried my best. And this is one of my constructions from Imagination. So now I'm gonna do one from Reference. Hi, I just wanted to take this little break in the audio to say that everyone is welcome to join in in the spirit of this challenge. You don't have to follow my instructions. You don't have to use my references. You don't even need to use Discord or anything. I would love to see your work. Uh, hashtag Mithrilda or at Mithrilda. But even otherwise, like the spirit of learning and productivity fuels my soul. So join in however you feel like. And here is my quick construction from reference. I tried my best to apply what I knew about a head construction and using my observation skills to try and get it down on the paper. And I feel like I don't really have to explain um, a detailed portrait. Just draw the picture the best you can with all the skills you have currently. Uh, so then in week two, I have two Proco videos about the Loomis head construction method. And I really want people to take their time on this. There is not as much to be gained in watching the video itself as all the practice you should be getting out of it. In the past, I tried to learn just from, you know, like watching lots and lots of videos. But I realized that, you know, that didn't do as much for me as just watching one video and practicing it over and over. In my free time when I would uh, be in lectures, I would doodle some of the stuff from the videos I was watching and then I got better at it. Like the stuff that I didn't understand at first, sometimes I would puzzle over it all night long and then I would go to sleep, come back to it, and then it was so much easier. Like the time and the effort and the puzzling are where you learn. So <laughs> for uh, the video, it says to watch the video, then do 15 Loomis constructions from the reference, do five Loomis constructions from imagination, then then, so you watch the video, you do some practice. The next day, you do some more practice. Then the next day, you can watch the next video. Just so you don't, you know, rush through and go too fast. Because I'm very tempted to do that, and I know other people probably are too. But the important thing is to know that the practice is worth way more than any video you could watch. Because you can watch videos all day long. You can watch videos your whole life and still not be able to draw. But... Every artist I've ever known that I've looked up to says that they draw a lot, <laughs> you know? So I think I'll stick to their advice. Then week three, watch another video, do more practice. Then on week four, redraw some of the same pictures that you've drawn before. Redraw the portraits from the first week. Compare. If you've done the practice, if you've thought about it, if you've taken your time and actually, you know, tried to absorb things, then you should improve a lot, you know? At least a noticeable amount, four weeks apart. And I'm pretty excited because I want to finally learn how to draw portraits. I remember from my 10 days of figure drawing video, I was baffled because I was like, wow, so you're telling me if I just kept going with learning the proportions and like memorizing the skeleton that if I did it for, you know, even three or four days in a row, I could completely memorize it and be able to reproduce it. You know, not perfectly, but it seems like a lot having to remember, you know, like the distance from the head to the waist, the waist to the feet, and then how far down the breasts go and the sh how far out the shoulders go. But I could remember it after just a few days after I actually paid attention. And so hopefully you'll have that same moment with this. I'll have that same moment with this. I don't know why I've been putting off heads for so long, but now seems like a good time as any to you know, get on top of them. Uh, anyways, so I will leave a Google Doc with all the instructions for the challenge in the description. I will leave a link to the Pinterest board and please join the Discord where we can all post our work, give each other feedback and critique, and just have a lot of fun this month, even though uh, I guess they've been calling it like together apart or something like that, I don't know. But I guess we've always been internet friends, so this isn't any different than normal. So yeah, hang out with us, do some drawing, do some art. I'm very excited to see both your and my progress over the month. Remember that talent is a myth. Now, get back to work, y'all.